Hello, I'm on the whitehouse.gov. This is a government website. This is the official whitehouse.gov. Today, if you didn't know, Barack Obama released his supposed, his alleged birth certificate. Um, this is the URL. I'm going to zoom in just in case any of you want to go there. It's http colon slash slash www.whitehouse.gov slash blog slash 2011 slash 04 slash 27 slash president hyphen Obama's hyphen long hyphen form hyphen birth hyphen certificate. On this page, you can see the birth certificate. And the interesting thing about this is they left it in PDF format. Let's click the link. Still on whitehouse.gov, might I add. This is the birth certificate in PDF form. Now, the interesting thing about, and I'm just going to go ahead and download this to my computer real quick. Save PDF to download folder. There it is. The interesting thing about PDF files, if you didn't know, is that PDFs are ran through Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is, of course, by Adobe. Let me open this up so you can see. Here is the birth certificate. Now, if you didn't know this, Adobe makes a series of software, including Adobe Illustrator. Illustrator and After Effects are linked through Adobe's Adobe Bridge, is what they call it. Basically, Adobe Illustrator lets you kind of create and edit photos similar to how Photoshop would. Now, if you save an image that you've created or edited or modified or enhanced in Adobe Illustrator as just an image file, it'll delete all traces of what you've edited in Illustrator. It'll only show the final result, kind of like how this looks. I can't see where people have edited. I just see an image. However, if you export it to Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a PDF file format, um, and this is unknown to many people, but it will save it and keep all the data from where you've edited. And then, in turn, through Adobe Bridge, you can open this PDF file in Illustrator. I happen to have Illustrator, so I'm going to right-click on this file I just downloaded. First, let me get info just for uh, evidential reasons. You can see on this file right here, where from, and it has the URL, whitehouse.gov, and last open today, 651. Um, created today, 6.51 p.m. I'm in Eastern Standard Time right now. It's 6.53. Currently, I'm in Georgia. Now, if I right-click and hit Open with Adobe Illustrator, this is the software that they use to create this fake birth certificate. Allow it to initialize and warm up. Here it is, Adobe Illustrator. Um, this is the birth certificate, and here is the layers palette. Now, if you didn't know, in Illustrator, if you want to add something, if you want to edit, maybe draw on top of something, what you do is click this button to create a new layer, and then you can draw on top of things. And you can see I just drew lines, and it's on a new layer, and you wouldn't be able to tell if I just say this as an image of it, whether it was part of the original or not, but here you can see it's on a new layer. If you open it in Illustrator, and you can turn on and off this layer, you can toggle the visibility and see that it was drawn, that it was added in later on. Let me delete this layer and go back to layer one. This is the original from whitehouse.gov. If you open this up, arrow means expand. It'll expand a layer to a group. You expand that again. Here's all the layers. Now, allegedly this birth certificate was scanned onto a computer. If you know anything about scanners and scanning into Adobe Illustrator, it keeps it on one layer. It, it doesn't, there's no such thing as technology for a scanner that'll separate parts of the images to different layers. So if they scan this, which they say they did, it would all be on one layer. However, here there are multiple layers, as you can see, and even inside these, there's more. I'm just going to show you, uh, this is the original one right here. The bottom layer is the, the first layer they started out with, and I'll toggle the visibility of that so you can see the stuff that was original. Everything else has been added on, and all the layers are above. I'll show you. This, this layer, for instance, contains a whole bunch of fake stuff. You can really see it. Um, one interesting thing, let me zoom in so you can see. I'll enhance this. If you draw something, such as a signature, and ink, you can see all these pixels, you can see where it's different colors, that's because ink on paper, it's not one solid color, it creates different colors, and when you scan it, the scanner obviously detects the different colors. Um, things like this D right here for the signature, that is done in pen, but as you can clearly see beside it, this is all one solid color, this is added on the computer, this isn't even penmanship, this was drawn on a computer. This is for signature of parent. And there's Anne, D, and the rest is added on the computer. Now, let me show you some of the layers. 
Here we have August 8th, 1961. If I toggle this layer, I believe it's this one. Yes, you can see that the only real thing in this image is the one, the nine, and the one. Everything else is added in, the August, the 8th, and you can also see the original date on top of this date accepted by RG General obviously went over, so they also had to fake the date A so they could add the August, covering up whatever other date may have been there. You can see where it says type of occupation outside home during pregnancy. It says none. However, if we toggle on and off the layer that this is on, I believe it's this one. Yes, you'll see that the N, the O, and the N were added. Perhaps it said wife. They left the E and added an N-O-N. Bottom line is, and I do this for a living, Illustrator, if you scan something on, it's not going to separate them in the layers. And you can easily see this has been added on the computer, especially when you zoom in and enhance it. You can see the parts that were done in pen, such as the signature here, up until the D. And everything else was added on the computer. You can see the solid ink. There's no change in the color of pixels, whereas normal ink would change between different shades of black and gray. This is one solid green color. Um, when you're zoomed out, it appears black. So the only real part of the signature is the and D. Everything else, including the Obama, is faked, and it's obviously faked. Even the parentheses around this up here. You can see this parenthesis over here is real, going over the parent. Um, you can see the changes in the pixels, but the one on this side is faked. And whatever they had here, I'll turn it on and off, went on top of the S in signature. So if they wanted to put this fake parenthesis here, they had to also get rid of what was already there, which overlapped the S, so they also had to redraw the S on top of that. You can see clearly, just from zooming in, even if you don't have Illustrator, just zooming in on your computer, printing it out, looking at it, you can see all the stuff that's faked. Um, there's different colors. They didn't even match the colors right. The August 8th, 1961, you can clearly see a change in color. The 1 and the 9 are different colors than the 6. It's all fake, but the really interesting part is somewhere out there, there is a real birth certificate. <laughs> but this is clearly a fake. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And it's pretty poorly done, too. So whoever, whoever faked this was either the most foolish editor ever and mistakenly allowed access to the layers, or they were a pure genius and they were trying to expose Obama and... Well, here it is. I mean, anyone can go download this and check it for themselves. Everything checks out. It's clearly a fake.